uh, one thing I might say, we in the 20th century tend to smoke our cannabis. I mean, aside for the occasional holiday cannabis cookie, uh, cannabis for us is something that is smoked. On the other hand, for the 19th century and for all of European civilization, uh, cannabis was something uh, that was eaten in the form of various sugared confections that were prepared. And this method of ingestion changes cannabis into an extremely powerful psychedelic experience. I mean, if you read the accounts of people like uh, uh, Theodore Gautier or Baudelaire or Fitzhugh Ludlow, written in the mid-19th century, they are describing experiences that obviously were for them as powerful as a 500 microgram dose of LSD proved uh, in our own lifetimes. Uh, and we forget this. We tend to think of it as a social, uh, as a social drug and a kind of a minor drug uh, on a par with smoking a cigarette or having a cognac or something like that. But in fact, for the serious eater of hashish, there it is the portal into a true artificial paradise uh, whose length and breadth is equal to that of any of the artificial paradises that we've discovered in modern psychedelic pharmacology. Hash hashish cannabis has an ambiance of its own. It has a morphogenetic field, and if you enter into that morphogenetic field, you enter into a, a, an androgynous, softened, abstract, colorful, uh, and extraordinarily beautiful world.